Welcome to this week's newsletter. Uh, we're going to start off uh, back at my house again. Uh, we're going to do the green board first of all, obviously without the green board. Um, I left it a bit late this week, we're going to have too many people walking past us. So, uh, right, for those that don't use the website at all, it is really useful. Um, if you click on calendar, um, you've got a bit more information than what we have on that green board outside the shop. Um, that tells us all about the, the teas, uh, competitions when the tea is closed at all. On here, a little bit about away matches and social events as well. So, um, what's coming up? Uh, you might see this before, man. Big match uh, this week on Thursday. Uh, it's the Thor Trophy, I think it's called, against Churchill and Blake Down. We have a team at home, team away. So, uh, come on, guys. Uh, need to win that one. And then, uh, you'd have to excuse me looking at this. Nothing on Friday. Right, Saturday. Um, so Saturday there's a Droitwich League match, so the ladies have got a Droitwich League match against uh, Burnham Valley. It is away, so that's not going to affect us at all. The tea's not closed, obviously, for that one. Um, ladies Stapleford on, again, the tea's not closed, uh, but the few ladies will be, uh, be playing in that. And then it's the first, I suppose, one of the big kind of trophy competitions. You, where if you win one of these, you get your name up on the board uh, in gold leaf in the clubhouse. Um, so it's the Newry, Leonard and Boeing Cup. So there's three different cups to play for depending on what division you're in. Um, it's a par competition as well. So if you're not sure what that is, if you're a new member, you're not sure, come into the shop. The tea's not closed, the three pounds to enter. So look, just come along, enter your money in the shop. If you're not sure on anything, we'll clear all that up with you uh, and get out and play. So uh, that's on Saturday, so Saturday the 22nd. Um, we've got a wedding on as well. So a big wedding, there's a marquee, you'll see the marquee up outside the, uh, the, the, on the patio uh, this weekend. Uh, we've got a big wedding on. So uh, in the clubhouse, uh, we'll be in the restaurant. Um, so rather than the big lounge, uh, so that's, uh, that's closed off on, uh, on Saturday. Right, Sunday, um, juniors, as we've, uh, we're gonna mention later on, we're gonna have a little interview with our junior captain, Luke Johnson. But juniors have got their match at Bow Dessert, so we should do a great golf course. So they're away on, uh, on Sunday. We've got a small society teeing off at midday. Um, there's only about a dozen players playing in it, so the tee's closed for sort of about half hour, 45 minutes at uh, 12 o'clock on Sunday, but we picked a quiet time there. Uh, also, it's St George's Day, so there's a uh, lunch on. I think there's a few uh, few spots left. Uh, Dave and Tilly are doing a St George's Day lunch. Uh, I think you can have a, a, the menus up in the, in the lobby if you want to have a look at that. And uh, if you fancy going to that, stick your name down. So that's uh, over the weekend. Uh, what happened last weekend? We had the Easter egg competition. A uh, bit of controversy there again with uh, with all the, the Badgers playing in it. Again, they're in the prizes. So well done to the front and the back nine winners. Overall winners with 92 points. Uh, Carl Badger, Maddie Badger and Steve Checkis. So uh, well done guys for that. Um, you know, kids, you're working really hard at your game um, and you're playing in all the competitions so nobody can say you're off full sandy caps or anything. You're just good in team competitions, aren't you? Um, so, uh, so if you need somebody for your team, uh, get on one of the badgers. Uh, ladies, ladies, you got a few results as well. Um, they had their ladies uh, Easter competition. Uh, that was won by a second year academy member, Gail. Um, so well done, Gail. You've had uh, 35 points. Chris Rollins, second with 34 points. And also Chris won the uh, ladies nine hole eclectic uh, with 25, a net 20 score of 25. That's been running, I think, over the last uh, the last few months. So uh, that's uh, it for this week, uh, fixtures wise and results wise. Um, let's get out on the course and have a look at uh, see what's been going out on the course. Um, actually, before we do. Uh, this flag, to be honest, from when, when the Open was at Royal Birkdale in 2008, is back there again this year in July. Uh, tempted to try and arrange a bit of a trip up there. It's not too far away. It's only a couple of hours or so drive. So uh, if you fancy having a day, we'll have to see if we can get Al, even though he's left us, but we'll have to see if we can get little Al Jones um, with the uh, with minibus again. Uh, and then we'll have a day out at the Open. So if you fancy it, um, let me know and um, we'll, uh, we'll perhaps have to get that arranged. Right, uh, see you out on the course. On the course this week, uh, what's, been, uh, what's been going on? Well, the greens are recovering nicely from the grading work that we had done a couple of weeks ago. Now, I know we keep saying it, we just need some warm weather. It's the temperature's still cold, we're high up, but you know, we're, we're always that few degrees colder than everybody else. So, um, over the next few weeks, I'm sure it is going to get a bit warmer and we'll get that nice growth going in the, in the greens and they'll, uh, they'll, be, they'll be spot on then. 
Um, but they're all right now. You know, they roll quite nicely. They're just not quite as quick as perhaps what we uh, what we want them. Now, um, Steve uh, Collins, our Greenwich chairman, he's been out uh, with his white can. Uh, I think he's used a few of them. Just going round. Um, marking out ground under repair. Obviously, coming out of the winter, you end up with a few bare patches uh, on the course before the grass starts to uh, to sort of recover and, and, and fill in. So, um, circle a lot of those patches. Uh, put G spray G U R on. That's uh, so a ground under repair. If your ball's in a ground, one of those spots, it's your nearest point of relief. That's no nearer the hole. Then you get one club length from that spot. Um, I should have bought a club and a ball out to demonstrate. I'll perhaps try and do that next week. Um, lots of people have different ideas. Sometimes oh, you've got to bring the, the ball back and keep the ball in line with the target you have it. In ground under repair, it's your nearest point, no nearer the hole. So sometimes you actually might end up uh, you know, in, a, in a better position than you was, uh, was previously in, well, you, when you was in that ground under repair, as long as you're no nearer. Um, while we're out here, uh, I must mention, obviously, uh, Bliss uh, last week. Um, that was great, wasn't it? Uh, most of you saw her on Sky. Um, it was uh, in Morocco. Um, on the Saturday, she did get into the lead for a short time, didn't she? She got to six under, or had, I think had a put to go two shots in the lead. Uh, just missed. They missed that little one coming back. Uh, hit a shot a little bit heavy going into 18, left it short, chipped on, missed the put. Suddenly, sort of three bogus in the last four holes. A uh, few shots behind, then going into the last day. Um, played steady, uh, but just didn't uh, didn't quite kind of do what she needed to do. And and but but finished in fourth place. So she was quite happy. It was a tight course, small greens, so it suited her. You know, she's straight off the tee. She has lots of greens. Um, so so it was great for her game last week, which is why she did pretty good. Finished off four under. Uh, Peterson just missed out there, didn't she? Missed that had that chance on on the last two uh, to tie for the lead with. Clara Splickover, I think her name is. Um, so well done to her. Um, they're in uh, in Spain this week. Um, so uh, good luck. Bit more, at least the course a bit more wide open this week. Big greens. Um, so let's see. Uh, let's see how she gets on. How she keeps that uh, that form going uh, into this week. It's on Sky again uh, this weekend. So Saturday and Sunday, some live coverage. I think there's been some highlights on Thursday and uh, Thursday and Friday as uh, as well. Um, She's looking forward to that big game though on Sunday, Villa Blues. So uh, come on, Villa. Right, um, let's uh, go and have a look. We're, we're, the knockouts and the knockout draws all been done. Um, so let's go back inside and I'll show you how to check out who you're, uh, who you're playing against. Right, so we're outside the office. Um, now, if you've entered the knockouts, you should have had an email. And the email will uh, tell you who you've got to play against with their contact details and the date that the match has got to be played by. Um, so get in contact with them, arrange your match and get it played. Uh, right now, if you haven't had an email, could be one good reason the club haven't got the correct email address for you. So although you might get our newsletters, it's a different system. So uh, go to the office or give Jane a call in the office and just check what email uh, they've got on the system for you and that they have got an email address. Now, um, if you haven't had an email, you can look on here. Uh, so on the computer outside the office, turn it on. There's a little box there, knockout results and draw. Um, Display the knockout draw, you can select the, the which match play event it is, and you can go through the scroll through the draw there, see who you're playing against, um, and the date that it's got to be played by. Um, once you've played your match, enter a knockout result, put your number in, and enter your knockout result in there as well, and that will update. Uh, then I assume you're going to get another email saying who you've got to play again in the next, uh, in the next round. So, um, the important thing really, if you haven't had an email, uh, speak to the office and get them to update your email address. Right, so a special guest this week is our junior captain, Luke Johnson. Now, most of you have probably seen uh, his face all over the clubhouse, thanks to yeah. Gary Banks, managed to get the junior captain's picture uh, dotted around. So, uh, so this is the um, start of the season for you. Yeah, that's First great. match. First match, Bodes Air away this, this weekend, weekend on, on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday yeah. Okay, and you got a good team, mate. Yeah, full strength side actually this week. Okay, so we're well, in luck. We've got some good players this year, so we've got a good team out this this weekend. We've got a few good players in the squad as well that are on the verge of that team. So I'm sure over the over the season uh, they're all going to get a get a game in. Yeah. Um, you got all your matches quite crammed into quite a close. Yeah, within six weeks or so. Okay, over so the. 
pretty consecutive weeks. See, I know you got a match this Sunday, then you yeah. got a match next weekend at home against South Sass. Sass, Sass, Sass yeah. Yeah. So, so remember to keep an eye on the notice board and things as well, and obviously on the newsletter about any tea closures. Uh, so the tea's closed just for an hour or so this uh, this Sunday, isn't it? The match. Yeah. Uh, well, no, next Sunday. Next Sunday, sorry. Yeah. This Sunday. Is, this Sunday's a one, <laughs> isn't it? Okay. Forget I said that. I'm not going to cut it and start again. Um, so good luck. You're going to be wearing as well um, the new junior team. Um, so we've got some new junior shirts. Again, yeah. thanks to Gary for that. Gary, uh, when Gary started junior organiser um, at the, uh, probably, well, was it almost six months ago, five, six months ago, uh, he obviously made it his, his kind of little thing to make sure that they had some new kit for this year. And also this junior locker room, wasn't he? And, yeah. and so Gary, I know he, he's kind of been the one behind um, sort of getting this done. And it's almost finished. There's still a few little jobs to do in here. But so thanks to Gary for that. Obviously Andy and Steve Lennon for doing the lighting as well. AS Electricals, a little plug for you guys. Colin Price, you had the good job, you put the toilet in. Um, and, and, I think, and, and one or two of the other parents I know, um, Spencer Greenham as well, I think you helped, helped out, didn't you, a bit, yeah. and done, done some of the painting and things up here as well. So, uh, so it is looking a little bit smarter for the, uh, for the start of the season for the kids. We've got some nice pictures up in here now. Um, you're all gonna look great this weekend, I'm sure, in those. Yeah. And, and, and good luck. I think, yeah. What we're gonna do? Uh, shall we go on the course? Yeah, come on then. We're gonna go on the course, and who's gonna gonna demonstrate a uh, one minute lesson this week? It's gonna be a flop shot. All right, so let's get out there and uh, and see how you get on. And uh, and as a good luck this weekend, we'll Thank have a you. full report on the match. We'll get you in Absolutely, next week to give yeah. us a report Breaking on how it, how it goes. Yeah. So. You better make sure you win, no pressure. Yeah, absolutely. Right, so we're out on the course, and um, we're just short of the first green, um, on the left-hand side, and the pins just took the other side of the bunker, and, and, and just at the bottom of that down slope. So, a couple of ways you could play, you could play a very safe shot. You look pretty cold there. <laughs> you could play a very safe shot, just a little chip over the bunker, you know, you, you're not gonna stop it very quickly, it's gonna run on. At best, you're probably going to end up 15, 20 feet the other side of the flag, or you can take on a bit of a risky shot. And there's times where you want to try and play this. Where you, well, it's nice to know how to play this flop shot or lob shot. Uh, it can either make you look fantastic or, or, or not if you don't quite get it right, but it's a great shot to be able to know how to play. So Luke's here, he's going to have a little go at it. So what, how are we going to play? Well, well, first of all, you've got, to, you've got to get as much loft onto that golf club as you can. So you want to what we call open this club face up. Um, so that you've, you've almost got, probably not the great thing to it, say when you've got a junior round, but almost imagine you've got a, a, a wine glass or something on, on this face of this club. Um, so you're adding loads of loft on it. Um, obviously, if you had the club face like this, you'd be dropping the wine glass off. So uh, open that club face up. There is a downside to this. It, it lowers this sort of back edge quite a lot of the, of the club. So if you're trying to play this off a tight lie where there's not much grass, it doesn't work particularly well. So you've got to be, the ball's got to be sitting reasonably well to be able to play this. So open the club face up, then take your grip. So don't, don't take your grip, then open the club face up because it'll just come back to this sort of, uh, this sort of a cl not closed position, but it'll come back to a position where there's not as much loft on it and it impacts it. Open the club face up, then take your grip. Um, Wide stance as well, isn't it, Luke? Because we're gonna, even though it's only a short shot, the real key to this shot, once you've opened that club face up, is to make a long swing. Have that confidence making a big, long, long swing. So you need the wide stance, perhaps a little bit open as well. Just move your feet around further, aim a little bit to the left of target. Um, ball perhaps a little bit further forward as well in your stance, almost like a bunker shot, really. So pulling the ball a bit further forward in your in your, in your stance. Right, go on then, have a go at it. Here we go. Okay, that's quite impressive. You sort of, I don't know if you can see on there, I'm sort of probably standing in the way, but that, that ball landed very soft. Considering it landed on a down slope, it landed very soft and while well, you're there, sort of 10 feet away. Yeah, so you give yourself a good chance. Yeah, good so, so good shot, worth taking on the risk occasionally, that shot. Um, so play a few of those on Saturday and you might win your match. We'll give right? it a go. Thanks, Luke. No problem. That's how to play a flop shot. Um, and, and good luck the rest of you playing it. That's it for this week's newsletter. A couple of things to, to run through. I did forget to mention it earlier on. Uh, par three event that we had last Thursday. Uh, well done to, uh, to Dave Hackett, uh, net 26, you big Joe Price. Joe actually shot three under, so he had a gross 27, but he only gets a shot. So uh, Dave Hackett, uh, good score, finished with net 26, beat Joe on the better back six, I think it was. 
Um, so uh, it's a picture of Dave uh, with his prize, nice new Under Armour shirt. Uh, Lee Grice, well done Lee. Um, you won it I think last time we held this event, uh, but this year you only managed to win nearest the pin on the, uh, the last, so uh, um, I haven't had a chance to give you your prize yet, so uh, when you come in, uh, if you watch this video, come in and uh, get your prize. And, a little bit of info for next weekend's comp. So the one on Saturday the 29th, it's the family foursomes. Uh, I've just had a message off Richard to so say that's actually open to all category members, so even restricted members. So uh, this year, even if you're a five day member, if you've got somebody to play in that uh, with you, you can, uh, you can enter that and there's no extra charge either. Um, right, that's it. So you know how to play that flop shot the weekend. I'd suggest perhaps having a little bit of practice at it rather than suddenly going out in the comp and, uh, and, uh, and attempting it. Um, Fliss has sent us a video of her playing a flop shot this week in, in, uh, on the practice area in, uh, in Spain. Um, so she reckons she can this first attempt. We can't see from the camera angle, so we're gonna have to take her word for it. But if you look at she makes that big, long, uh, sort of full swing, kicks that club face, uh, sort of very open, sort of through impact, it gives you that high, soft landing shot. So uh, right, uh, see you next week. <laughs>